The Techthusiasm Home Networking Overhaul Phase 1 continues with now the last major piece of equipment, or at least the last piece of equipment that will be going into the rack over here to my right. And we have the Ubiquiti, the Unify Cable Modem. Yeah, I decided to go all in basically. If I'm going to standardize my network equipment around the Ubiquiti stuff, why not try to do all of it? I've ran my own cable modems for quite a while now, and I think I'm going to be continuing to maintain cable internet for some time. I'm not expecting an imminent change over to fiber. We've tried to have fiber installed here, and we've got some challenges. The room that I'm standing in is finished. Walls and ceiling, our whole house, basement included, is finished. Uh, completely finished walls and ceiling, and I, we have, a, we have a, a heck of a time, basically, trying to get the fiber lines fully pulled. So I've had wow internet for quite a while. Been happy with them actually, uh, happy with the prices, happy with the performance and the service. Currently running 1.2G internet, and so we're gonna use this baby right here to power that all up. So in this video, let's open it up, let's take a look, and we'll get it installed in the rack with the remainder of the other Ubiquiti hardware that is going into the setup. We have a Dream Machine Pro Max, we have an Enterprise 48 PoE switch, and some other uh, stuff that goes with it. So I'm going to save a couple bits and pieces for a moment. Let's get to the main event first. The cable modem unit itself. This is it's, this one's packaged a little different than some of the other uh, Unify hardware has been. Interesting. We've got a little we've got a fuse there. Um, all right. So here's the unit. Not very big. Not very deep, especially compared to some of the other equipment that's gone in. Uh, we do have it in this kind of like plasticky semi-plastic feeling, um, and not really fabric, I guess it's a plastic bag, uh, plastic baggie. Get this open here if I can find all of the entry points and get it out. Got that awesome kind of same finish that all of the Ubiquiti gear has. So what are we looking at here on the front? Of course we have the uh, display. I'm really curious to get all this stuff fired up and see what kind of information and whatnot we can have visible on those displays. And we have our Ethernet connection that will go, or RJ45 connection that will go to the Dream Machine. This is a 2.5G connection, so we're ready for some super high-speed cable internet. We have uh, a coax connection here on the back, ready to tie in for the cable service itself, and we have a port for the plug. Real basic, not as much going on here as we have with the other equipment that we've opened so far. Now this is rated to work with Comcast, Charter, and Cox. It's approved. WoW isn't formally on the list, but I've done my research and I've seen a number of people, Reddit threads and whatnot, reference the fact that they've had no problem getting this modem activated on their WoW service and having it run uh, without any trouble. So that'll be something that I do, uh, of course, once everything is connected, wired up, and ready to go. Let's take a look through the rest of the accessories here. The rest of the accessories that came in the box. Uh, we have our power cord here. I like the Ubiquiti uh, power cords that I've seen on all of the other equipment. They're not just plastic, they're kind of like braided fabric. We do have a three prong power cord and three prong to the unit as well, so we're grounded there. We do have our rack ears. All the other little rack ear pieces had come wrapped in plastic. These ones were not for whatever reason. And we have two little bags uh, of accessories. So. Uh, in one uh, case here, we have rack, uh, rack screws to basically rack mount the thing. We have backing, just in case your rack doesn't actually have threaded holes, and we have the rack ear holes as well. Interestingly, too, we have uh, in this little baggie, we have a couple of like wall anchors. There, there are some extra mounting uh, opportunities, I guess, enabled by what's included in the box. Now, if you were ever in doubt about how to install the Ubiquiti stuff, one of the things that I liked on every piece of equipment, you open the box, and the first thing that greets you is a QR code. You scan that QR code, you're taken basically directly into the online instructions about whatever piece of equipment that you just scanned. I found them very easy to follow, very easy to access. I think this is an ingenious way of providing instructions, save some paper and all that. Just to be accurate, I went ahead and I did look at the instructions online. The other cool thing, when you scan the QR code, you go to the instructions, depending on what kind of installation path you're going down, is it a rack install, or in this case, is it a wall mount install? You can click to get the ones you're specifically looking for. So to completely round this out, so this modem does fully support a wall mounted installation. It goes on the wall like this, kind of slides down. I think that's what these tracks 
uh, and stuff our four here. So we have actually a template that goes with it. And I was wrong, this isn't a fuse. It kind of looked like a fuse when I first saw it. It's actually a level. It's a level built in <laughs> to the template bracket. So when you put this thing on the wall, you want to get it nice and straight. Uh, it's got that little itty bitty piece on there. And then of course, we have the wall anchors and stuff to go with it and the screw pieces that would let you mount it that way. Of course, we're putting it in a rack that's just over here. So I'm gonna get the rack ears on it. We're gonna get it hung up there and I'll show you what that looks like in just a moment. So there we go, rack ears on. Cable modem is installed here on the bottom of the stack. The whole lineup of new phase one ubiquity hardware is sitting ready to go. We're gonna start wiring stuff in, turning everything on, powering it all up, getting into configuration, getting everything activated, whole lot more ubiquity networking content to come. And hey, this is just phase one. Phase two is gonna be cameras, doorbells, other things that I'm planning to do within this ubiquity network system. Of course, it's by your watching these videos and your support that I'm able to do all this stuff, buy these things, talk about it, learn about it, and educate about it. So your support is always much appreciated. If I can help you with anything, reach out jeremy at techthusiasm.net. I do audio, video, home theater, and technology style consulting. I am an authorized certified dealer for a bunch of brands, Kaleidoscape, JVC, Panamorph, and a whole lot more after that. If I can hook you up, I can set you up with equipment. I'm happy to do so. Reach out, let's talk. If I can't do it, I can refer you to some really great business partners that can. But hey, come through me first. Otherwise, there's regular affiliates down in the description. Amazon, Newegg, Best Buy, Target, Crutchfield, and more. Check those out. Please shop with them. You, your spouse, your family, significant other, whoever it may be. If you would like to become a channel member, hey, please do. Leave a super thanks PayPal Venmo tip. Any and all of the above is always appreciated and recognized. Otherwise, please like, subscribe, hit the bell, share the video, leave a comment. Let's discuss the Ubiquity networking platform and all the cool stuff that's in it. What do you have? What do you like? What do you use it for? Otherwise, stay tuned. There's going to be a whole lot more of this stuff to come. And come on back for that. A whole bunch of home theater and home networking discussion and fun. Thanks.